All the time, I hear people remark that the French enjoy life more, and that life in France is slower, and that it's a lifestyle to aspire to, or that it's heaven or a dream place to live. Why does France allow us to slow down and appreciate the small things, or does it? Is everyone in France living a slower, more meaningful life than life elsewhere? I don't know. And maybe more importantly, will a move abroad make your life more enjoyable? Let's talk. First, welcome, bonjour tout le monde, I'm Diane. This is We in France, where we talk about everyday French life and beyond. And let's just get right into this. First, I want to say that there is no answer to those questions in the intro that work for everyone across the board. But I want to unpack them. A major part of how we see France depends on the reason why we came to France in the first place. So that's where we're going to start. So things like, are we on vacation for a week? And did we just see the highlights, the tourist attractions? Did we only visit Paris? Um, did we move to France for love, like me, for a job, for retirement, to study abroad, to try something new? These are all very valid reasons to go abroad, but starting a new life abroad does not always equal a slower pace, full of all the finer things in life, and definitely doesn't mean you're gonna have a superior lifestyle to life at home. And I think automatically assuming that life abroad will be inherently better across the board just because it's France can be super damaging because the reality, life abroad is not always better, it's not. And sometimes, sure, right? That's only normal. Um, it's different, absolutely. But is it better and more fulfilling and slower for everyone? No. Something I want to point out, keep in mind that many of us who put ourselves out there via our blog and social media, we're the ones who are enjoying the experience of living abroad. We've made it work for us. So it's easy in a way for us to share things about life abroad when life is good. People who hate living abroad, they're not going to necessarily start a blog or a YouTube channel. So by default, the vast amount of content we find out there uh, on the internet about living abroad is from people who have found it meaningful and worthwhile. So just keep that in mind when you're out Googling stuff. So Let's look at one example of when life abroad would definitely not be slower. Plenty of people come to France on a temporary expat work contract, and all they're doing is trading in one high-powered corporate job for another, just in a place with different scenery, where they don't really know anyone, they don't know the culture, and they probably don't speak the language. You know, um, let's take, for example, a lawyer trading life in New York for Paris. Life won't necessarily be slower for that person in France. Just to put it out there, many people thrive on being busy and they define themselves by their careers. There's nothing wrong with that. Certain people who move abroad, they're not going to find themselves slowing down and having the time to ponder and take advantage of all these finer things in life if they don't have the time to do so. And regardless of our job and our reasons for moving abroad, many of us do grow as people and we realize that maybe we had it a little backwards at home and that there are other ways of doing things, maybe better ways that suit us as a person better. Surely for me, some of that has to do with French culture, but part of it might just be how we mature over time. And the point I want to make here is that a move to France or anywhere, it doesn't inherently mean your life is going to be more fulfilling or provide any type of clarity on the meaning of life or whatever it is we're looking for. So I feel that if we're seeking a change, we have to make that change ourselves. It's not just going to fall into our laps. And we need to ask ourselves, why are we even looking for that change in the first place? For many, it's often personal. It was for me. You know, maybe something isn't working too great at home or we didn't really feel complete there or fulfilled or challenged by our work or our personal life. Maybe just some circumstance just wasn't doing it for us. And I think sometimes we're so fed up with certain aspects of our life abroad, our job, our boss. And instead of trying to fix what isn't working at home because maybe we don't have the energy, we don't know how, we don't know where to start, it's easier or more exciting to do something drastic, like move abroad, and that's okay. But keep in mind, our problems, I feel, tend to follow us, so just be careful if you're trying to escape and move abroad to deal with that. But in reality, maybe we could achieve the same thing, that slower life, more meaning, appreciate life more, by moving from a big city in our home country or state where we know people, to a more rural town in that same country or state where everything moves slower and where we're unknown. And it's just not so fast paced. We don't have to move abroad to find ways to appreciate life's simple pleasures. But there is something alluring about France. 
So many factors contribute to how fulfilled we feel abroad. Do we have enough money to live the way we want? Are we surrounded by family and friends and people who support us both near and far? Are we hoping to buy a house? Do we have enough money to live in it well, to renovate it, uh, to travel if that's what we want, to enjoy these finer things in life? And what are these finer things in life? And are we able to enjoy them within our means? And are French people even doing these things? And of course, if we have substantial means with no need to work, life abroad can look like a permanent vacation. If we do need to work to support ourselves um, and we're not retiring or that sort of thing, finding a job definitely can be a challenge that we deal with. So the bottom line is that everyone's life looks different and what makes me appreciate my life might not have any relation to why you appreciate yours. Something else that's important to keep in mind is whether or not it's our choice to move abroad. Did we choose to retire here or do a gap year or whatever it is? Or was it maybe our spouse or a parent who got a job offer? So many of us came to France seeking a different kind of life, maybe an adventure, a new start or just to experience a different way of living. You definitely don't have to look too hard to find a different way of life in France if you came from a fast-paced uh, American city like New York and you decide to settle out in the countryside. Or maybe if you settle in Paris after living in New York City, life doesn't seem that different. Seeking out a different way of life forces us to notice the difference. And a blogger I follow, Bob, he's also an author of Parisian On Purpose, explains it perfectly here. And I quote, I don't simply want to see, but to absorb, if that's possible. I have a fear of making my life small. Perhaps noticing what's around you is a way of expanding your vision, even within the confines of your daily goings and comings, no matter where you are. We make our lives what they are. And People who move to France seeking a quieter, simpler life are looking for something that maybe their life at home doesn't currently have, or at least not in the same way. Generally, I find people who currently live in a rural, calm environment with not a lot to do, they're not gonna go seek that out in France for a life of isolation, just with a new language and culture. You know, I think many of us do come to France to chill out, escape, um, definitely escape that go, 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 career climbing, keeping up with the Joneses lifestyle that American culture has rewarded as some sort of prize, uh, like a contest of who could be the busiest. And I feel foreigners purposely set up their lives in small town France sometimes. And by default, you'll be slowing down. The reality is when you're living in a small community, you don't have any roots there, people don't know you, stores close early, not a ton is open on Sunday. Of course life is slower and you're able to relax more when there aren't people to see and there aren't a million things to do. But I'm always careful to not romanticize life in France or life abroad in general to the point of being ridiculous, like it's a fantasy life, you know? France does not automatically equal a better life as we just discussed. And if it does offer a better life, maybe part of that, what makes it more fulfilling is if you have someone to share it with, whether that's a pet, a family member, a partner. You know, it's easier when you could speak the language, when you can take advantage of the beauty around you and be an active participant in your life. So maybe that means you have the time, uh, the means, the motivation, and the desire to kind of tackle that. And to be frank, part of the reason why my life is slower here and less busy, it's my own doing. I don't have a big network of friends and family. Tom's a twin and doesn't have a big extended family. And all the commitments that kind of come with that, baby showers, well, there aren't baby showers in France, but just all the family commitments, I don't have them here. And I find comfort in my routine, my peaceful existence, it's different. And I am free to appreciate the things around me because I have the time to do so. And right now it's working for me. The other part of why my life is slower here is because living life well is part of French culture. It's just built into society here. Work is not paramount to all else. Uh, Full-time employees get five weeks of vacation, sometimes more. Um, shops are closed earlier than I'm used to. A lot of the time on Sunday, people take time to appreciate their meals and vacation is cherished and a right, not a privilege. So let me point out, not all French people savor this way of life. You know, there are exceptions, of course, but it's something I quite like as an outsider. I think I enjoy life here more and appreciate the small things. Yes, because French society has enabled me to do just that. And also because we mature and we grow, hopefully, as people over time. So did France play into this? Absolutely. Was France the only reason? 
No. Here's another reason why life in France has made me appreciate life more. I moved to France to be with the man I love, Tom, my French husband, and that in and of itself brings a sort of peace and appreciation. Uh, we're not alone in tackling life. Everything for me shines a little bit brighter and I find myself seeing more clearly knowing I'm supported by the person I've chosen to spend my life with. So yeah, that's a big factor as well. And I would love to hear from you. Has a major life change made you see things differently, um, whether it's a move abroad or just something else that big that happened in your life. Um, has it made you slow down? I'd love to hear from you in the comments about that. And then also um, in the description, I have all kinds of links. I have, what do I have? A newsletter. Um, I have an e-guide about tips for your first trip to France. It's just a few bucks. I have a big roundup of some of my favorite things from around the web, Francophile stuff, tech, books, that sort of thing. And also some of you recently asked me, after seeing my community tab post um, about possibly starting a Patreon subscription campaign. Um, for those of you who want to support me that way, some of you said, you know, Diane, I'm not into a monthly commitment. I don't want to be billed monthly, but I would love to support you with, you know, a one-time payment here and there. Do you have something like that? And I do. It's called Kofi and you buy me a, a virtual coffee um, in increments of $3. So I'll put that link below for those of you who are looking for it. Um, but regardless, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you back here on We in France soon. Salut!